Hello, this is an overview of our work, XSTAR, Anytime Multi-Agent Pathfinding for Sparse Domains Using Window-Based Iterative Repairs, published in Artificial Intelligence, Volume 291. As a motivating example for our work, this is a short clip of our robot soccer team competing in the RoboCup Small Size League. Each team runs its Sense Plan Act loop on a central computer, enabling joint planning for robot paths, but it's a fast-paced game, so the control stack has hard timing constraints. Poor quality paths lead to collisions or reactive planning, but there's local sparsity and Asian agent collisions. Because of these constraints, an anytime planner would be perfect for this domain. In this scenario, our main attacker has the ball and wants to dribble it closer to the opponent's goal. Our secondary attacker wants to get open in order to facilitate a potential pass, and it wants to drive here. Due to the time limits in our stack, each agent plans paths independently, resulting in something that looks like this, resulting in a collision. We would like to resolve this collision as quickly as possible. One of the key insights of our work is to approach this by building a small repair window around the collision and performing a joint space repair within it to fix the paths. This is a tiny search for the joint space of only two agents, so it will generate a valid path quickly. This path is better than the trajectories that the robot would take if the safety system had to do collision avoidance, but it's still fairly poor. The stack decides it has a bit more compute time, and so we can grow the window and actually produce a better quality path. The stack still has a bit more time, and it again grows the window. The stack is now out of time, and it runs with this fairly respectable plan. This idea of generating small window repairs and growing them as time allows is the basis of our work. Stepping back from our RoboCup example, anytime planners are really useful in general. Many real systems need a valid path quickly, but they also care about time to path and quality of path. Anytime planners, such as ours, can trade off between path quality and planning time online. This is not something that can be done efficiently with Epsilon suboptimal solvers. If you run your plan, you're not happy with it, all you can do is start the solver over from scratch with a tighter Epsilon bound and see what happens. As part of this work, we present two key contributions. Theoretically, we present a framework to make any optimal MAPF solver anytime for any graph. Practically, we present an anytime MAPF solver with state-of-the-art time-to-valid path and competitive time-to-optimal path for sparse domains. Our first contribution, the Windowed Anytime Multi-Agent Planning Framework, or simply WAMP, is a framework to make any optimal MAPF solver anytime for any arbitrary graph, not just regular grids. Additionally, WAMP provides online suboptimality bounds, which are important for deciding when to halt via meta-reasoning such as in our RoboCop example, and provably converges to an optimal path. Full proofs of correctness and optimality are provided in Appendix B of our paper. The intuition for a single window of WAMP follows very straightforwardly from the RoboCop example. First, we plan paths in the individual space of each agent. If we're lucky, there are no collisions, and this will trivially produce an optimal global path. If we're not so lucky, and there is a collision, WAMP constructs a window to extract a small region of the state space with only the subset of agents involved in the collision and then performs a window repair of the paths via search in the window of the joint space of the involved agents. Because the window is small and involves a tiny subset of agents, it's quick to find a repair and generate a valid path. The resulting global path is unlikely to be optimal, but it is guaranteed to be valid. While time permits, the window can be grown and a new, larger repair generated. The resulting global path is likely to be less suboptimal, but the repair takes more time to generate due to searching a larger area. Eventually, the window will grow large enough to encapsulate the entire problem of its subset of agents, and the window can then be discarded as it has generated an optimal, collision-free global path for the agents involved. Additionally, a major goal of WAMP is to allow for efficient successive path generation by allowing for repair, search, reuse. WAMP works to preserve windows over multiple iterations, allowing data structures from prior searches to be reused, resulting in significant speedups. The single window intuition for WAMP is fairly straightforward, but it gets more complicated when there are multiple collisions. In this scenario, there is a collision between agents A and B. To solve this, we generate a repair window, but this creates a downstream collision between agent A and agent C. This can be resolved with a second repair window, and WAMF has now generated a valid path. To improve this path, WAMF grows both windows. But now we have a problem. Agent A enters the second window at time 4, but it leaves the first window at time 6. The first window could replan A's path, messing with the second window's start. So these two windows must be merged, and a repair generated in the joint space of agents A, B, and C. This again generates a valid and likely higher quality global path and can continue until the window encapsulates the global search for the three agents involved. Importantly, at no point did this repair search even consider agent D. In order to generate a valid path, WAMF was able to run only two small repair searches in the space of two agents, and in order to generate an optimal path, WAMF was able to run a repair in the space of only three agents. When operating with multiple windows, WAMF has to consider the impact of a given repair on downstream windows in order to enable repair search reuse within those windows. In this example, agents A and B collide, and a small window is generated, forcing agent B to sidestep into a small slot in order to let agent A pass. Unfortunately, 
This creates a downstream collision between agent B and C, requiring a second repair. WAMP has generated a valid path, and it is now going to try to improve it. It grows the first window, and then agent A starts earlier along its path, allowing it to avoid the crowded hallway altogether, and allows B to travel smoothly towards its exit without sidestepping into the hallway slot. Unfortunately, because agent B's shorter path would cause it to leave the first window earlier, it would enter the second window earlier, messing with its start state and destroying the ability to reuse search information. In order to avoid this, agent B's exit from the first window is padded with a wait command in order to ensure that it leaves the window at the same time in order to avoid destroying downstream windows. WAMF is presented as pseudocode in algorithm 1 of our paper. WAMF iterations are formulated recursively, along the way reporting intermediary paths along with its suboptimality bound, the ratio between the cost of the current global path and the global cost of the individually planned paths, or returning a final path when it has been proven globally optimal. WAMP is a framework, and it requires several definitions in order to produce a concrete solver. It requires a window definition, the main specific definition of how to isolate, grow, and check for overlaps in contiguous regions of the search space. Additionally, it requires a window repair algorithm to actually perform the initial window repair, as well as a grown window repair algorithm to generate successive repairs. In a naive implementation, these can be the same algorithm without any sort of reuse but efficient implementations will leverage the reuse properties of WAMF to speed up successive searches. Finally, WAMF needs a predicate to detect when a repair is considering a global repair for the subset of agents in the window, and thus the window can be discarded with an optimal global path generated. Thus far, windows have only been depicted as hyper-rectangles on four grid environments, but this need not be the case. For example, consider the arbitrary graph on the right. It is a collision between agents A and B, and its window can be defined using the number of degrees of separation, its initial window being all states with degree 1, its successive window being all states of degree 2, etc. This definition requires no additional information to be known about the graph structure a priori in order to function, though window definitions that encode additional knowledge about the structure of the domain in order to better isolate collisions are likely to be more efficient. Our second contribution is expanding A star, or simply X star, a WAMF-based MAPF solver. XSTAR uses an A-STAR-based window repair solver along with a novel search tree transformation to leverage WAMF's reuse properties in order to speed up successive path generation. In our experimentation, XSTAR uses a hyper-rectangle-based window definition as shown in the example below, but this definition is not fundamental to XSTAR and can be adapted to any other domain. At a high level, XSTAR's novel transformation performs a three-stage manipulation to the prior A-STAR-like search tree, transforming it from a tree from start K to goal K into a tree from start K plus 1 to goal K plus 1, thus avoiding the re-expansion of many of the states in the initial tree. In the first transformation, the existing search tree is modified in order to expand states inside window K plus 1 that were not expanded due to restrictions by window K. During the prior search, bookkeeping records the states that were not expanded during the search due to the constraints of the window K in an out-of-window set. These states are added to the open set, and standard A star state expansion is run until all states in the open set with the same G cost or the fewer as the gold K have been expanded. This results in a valid search tree from start K to goal K inside window K plus 1. Next, the start of the tree can be removed back to start K plus 1 by leveraging the existing joint path. The existing joint path must not be part of any existing window, which means it's collision free, and thus it must be part of the joint path generated by planning individual space for each agent. Thus the region between start K plus 1 and start K must be optimal. Knowing this path allows us to do two things. One, it gives us an upper bound on the cost of traveling from start K plus 1 to any state in the existing tree, as it cannot be more expensive than the cost of traveling from K plus 1 to K, and then from start K to state. It also gives us the states along the optimal path, allowing us to add them to the closed set and their neighbors into the open set in order to maintain the frontier. Again, standard A star state expansion is then run until all states in the open set with the same G cost or less as the goal K have been expanded thus producing a valid search tree from start K plus 1 to goal K. Finally, in order to generate a search tree to goal K plus 1, the states in the open set must have their heuristic values recomputed to target goal K plus 1, and then standard ACE car can be run with the resulting tree in order to generate a final tree. Full illustrated examples of this worked out in detail, along with the pseudocode for our grow and replan algorithm, are provided in algorithm 2 of our paper. Additionally, full proofs of correctness and optimality for X star can be found in appendix B of our paper. All of this work was done in service of developing an efficient anytime MAPF solver, but the question remains, is XSTAR efficient? To test this, we run XSTAR head-to-head -head against anytime focal search, the only other anytime MAPF solver, along with conflict-based search and subdimensional expansion, two state-of-the-art MAPF solvers. 
They are run on random four connected grids with one, five, and 10% randomly occupied cells from 10 to 60 agents, as well as on the standard game benchmark provided by moving AI. In short, XSTAR is able to generate valid paths on the order of milliseconds, much faster than other planners. For example, in this domain of 5% occupied four grids, XSTAR is able to outperform any time focal search in median time to valid path by almost an order of magnitude. This trend is seen across all grid obstacle densities, though the gap narrows as the percentage of obstacles increases. For optimal paths, XSTAR is competitive in time to optimal path. While its median runtime is often higher than other map of solvers, the confidence intervals have significant overlap, such as in this domain of 5% occupied four grids. Furthermore, the intermediary paths that XSTAR generates are almost always very high quality, likely satisfying quality requirements of even the most demanding real-world systems. These are the online suboptimality estimates of the first 20 iterations of WAMP run on four grids with 30 agents with varied obstacle densities. XSTAR almost always generates very tight suboptimality bounds, and in the case where these are somewhat loose, such as in a few scenarios in the first iteration of this 10% density scenario, which have above 3% suboptimality bound, less than five iterations is sufficient to bring these bounds within a half a percent of suboptimal. On the moving AI game domains, such as the lac 303 d domain shown on the left, we benchmarked all 25 random instances of 50 agents and reported median time to valid path and median time to optimal path. XSTAR and CBS are both extremely fast due to the high degree of collision sparsity in these domains, outperforming MSTAR and AFS by two orders of magnitude. It's reasonable to question how important XSTAR's reuse transformation is to its performance. After all, it adds significant complexity to the implementation and requires additional bookkeeping, which adds some overhead. To test this, we run XSTAR, naive windowing A star, denoted NWA star, which is simply X star without search reuse, and standard join space A star on a 20 by 20 grid with one agent on every edge, driving to the state diametrically opposite, resulting in a four agent collision in the center of the grid. Time to valid path and optimal path for X star and NWA star are reported as a percentage of A star's median time to solve this problem, and the most recently completed WAMP iterations recorded at the time A star would complete. This shows that while XSTAR induces very modest overhead in time to valid path due to its reuse bookkeeping compared to NWA star, the reuse transformation results in a significant speed up in time to optimal path and allows it to get significantly further in the number of successive paths generated before standard A star terminates. Our paper also investigates additional questions. What component dominates XSTAR's runtime? Perhaps unsurprisingly, dimensionality of the window repair is the largest factor, and so the repair search in the window with the highest number of agents is the most expensive component. Two. How well does XSTAR scale to more agents under fixed sparsity? We generated multiple domains with a fixed ratio of grid area versus agent count and compared how various planners scaled. XSTAR scaled well to larger numbers, with median time to valid path an order of magnitude faster than other planners, and generating valid paths more often when faced with very large numbers of agents. 3. How well does initial window size impact performance? Unsurprisingly, we found that the larger initial window size results in a minor increase in the time to valid path due to the larger search problem that must be solved, but the impact on time to optimal solution is less clear. Four. How does XSTAR compare to efficient but highly suboptimal MAPF solvers? We compared XSTAR against Push and Rotate, a MAPF solver designed to scale to thousands of agents, which makes no attempt at path optimality. XSTAR generates much higher quality paths. PR's paths are about twice as long as XSTAR's paths. And for smaller numbers of agents, XSTAR is able to generate valid paths much faster. We believe that the WAMP framework presents significant opportunities for future work for both practitioners and theoreticians alike. XSTAR uses a vanilla implementation of ASTAR without any bells or whistles. A fully decked out version of MAPF Solver will likely lead to better performance in practice. Additionally, in XSTAR we are performing optimal searches to generate repairs within each window, and these properties were integral to our proof of optimality in Appendix B. Theoreticians could extend our XSTAR proofs by admitting epsilon suboptimal window repair solvers and proving that the final global path would be epsilon suboptimal rather than optimal. There's also room for, to combine WAMP with other global search based on any time map of solvers like AFS. As we show in our paper, AFS is slow at generating an initial valid path, and this is because it is performing an epsilon suboptimal search in the joint space of all agents. If AFS was instead made a window solver for WAMP, and an XSTAR styled search tree transformation were produced, AFS would be able to have generated its full search tree in an any time manner, allowing it to maintain the properties of its global suboptimally bound tightening of its focal list while also getting the fast time to valid path benefits of WAMP. There's also room to parallelize or decentralize WAMP as many of the windows do not interact with each other and thus need not be solved in a serial manner. There's also room for exploration of WAMP's window shape and size. We briefly explored spherical windows which perform poorly, but other window constructs may lead to better results. Finally, there's room for development of an ensemble system which is able to decide, based on the structure of the problem instance, which map F solver ought to be used. When planning optimal paths, no state-of-the-art map F solver strictly dominates the rest, and this calls for developing a system to allow practitioners to choose the solver that can best solve their current problem instance as quickly as possible. Thank you for your attention. The link to the full article is provided in the top QR code, and the link to the project webpage hosting the most up-to-date information about WAMP, XSTAR, and our future work can be found at vetter.io slash XSTAR. Thank you.